Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bryce and right now I wanted to make a quick little video for you guys letting you know that Sprint just mocked Verizon, it's senseless. Um, and I wanted to get your guys' opinions on this and share my opinions with you guys. So basically the gist of it is that, you know, Sprint made a fake store next to Verizon's store and says that Verizon is twice the price. Um, and it mocks Verizon for its pricing schemes um, along with how they do their pricing and Sprint is basically saying we are half the cost so that you should come to us. Um, so I just wanted to get your guys' opinions on this. My opinion is that, you know, Sprint, although they're somewhat decent in the city, they're not at good at all when it comes to the interstates and when it comes to rural areas um, and this was a bad move on Sprint because even though Verizon is twice the price Verizon does have about four times the native coverage that Sprint has so you know any consumer like us can look at their coverage maps and say hey you know Verizon is obviously better um, you know, I think this was a really bad move on Sprint because of that reason. You know, obviously it comes down to you get what you pay for. So I think, you know, Sprint should have waited to make this until they have as good of coverage as Verizon or at least somewhat similar coverage to Verizon, um, which I don't think will be anytime soon. But you never know. Something might happen. Sprint might get their act together. But yeah, I think they should have waited to make this because obviously Verizon has the advantage over coverage, speeds, call quality, stuff like that. And you really do get what you pay for when it comes to cell phone carriers. The You know, even though it's more expensive, Verizon still, you know, has capital investment in their network and improves all the time in their network where Sprint, you know, they don't really improve that much and they don't spend that much in their network they just you know I personally haven't seen a tower from Sprint go up in my area in a long long time whereas Verizon they just added two towers in my area within the past two years so you know they're definitely investing more than Sprint ever has um, so yeah that's why I say Sprint should have waited to make this until they at least bring up similar coverage to Verizon. Anyways, just wanted to make this quick little video for you guys. Let me know in uh, the comments below your opinions on this. Do you think Sprint ha did the right choice by making this? Or do you think they should have waited? Um, how, if you have Sprint, how has your experience been? But yeah, let me know your opinions down in the comments below. Anyways, I want to thank all the new subscribers for coming in. Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, if you like my channel, please do subscribe. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next video.